Teachers work hard and powerful apps and online tools can streamline our workflow and engage our students. But what exactly are you agreeing to when you click those terms of use? Web tools are an integral part of the next generation classroom and knowing how to protect your students' data when using those tools is critically important. Many of these tools are free and all that is required is that you click and accept the terms of use and give a few pieces of personal information. But hold on, what did that click and accept say? How many of us read the terms of use before we click that button that says we have read and have agreed to the terms? We've all seen terms of use documents and recognize that they are filled with so much legal language that even if we did read them, we might not understand them. The problem with not reading the terms of use is that we don't know what rights we may have just given away. Do the terms of use actually allow the vendor to use our data, sell our data, or store our data in locations that create security concerns? We recognize that student data privacy is a complex topic and teachers are not alone in this endeavor. Boulder Valley School District has central-based staff members reviewing district policies and discussing processes to support those policies and making sure that we include FERPA-compliant language in all negotiated contracts. Unfortunately, we're not able to negotiate contracts with every web-based tool and app provider, so it is important that we all share in the data stewardship responsibilities. So how can teachers help? Before signing up for online tools for yourself or your students, use the following advice to help determine if the resource is safe to use. These are some statements that may mean privacy is at risk. Statements that say they will collect, store, or share information to third parties, or that information may be visible to third parties, or that they will utilize location services. These are some statements that you should be cautious about and think twice before accepting. Statements that say they will collect and store information or that they will access your contacts. These are statements that are generally acceptable. Statements that say they will collect basic user information or that they will not share information with third parties. It is important to note that under COPA, the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, Children under 13 years of age are prevented from signing up for online tools without the involvement of a parent. A regulation in COPA allows the school district to act on behalf of a parent and keeps the responsibility of data privacy with the district. If you are signing up your under 13 students for web-based tools, please let your parents know. We don't want teachers to stop using innovative tools in the classroom. We want them to feel empowered to make the right choices when they find a tool that they believe will make a positive impact in their lives and the lives of their students.